everyone. Welcome to CM MMS. Today we are going to do allocation of service department costs. We all know that service or the support department costs are considered to be overhead or indirect costs. As such, it is not feasible to trace it to cost objectives. Rather, it is allocated to operating departments that make use of these services. In certain cases, where the service departments, they make use of each other's service. In that case, this service department costs, they are allocated among themselves and then it is allocated to the production departments or the operating departments. There are three methods through which we can allocate the service department costs. One is the direct method, step down method or the step method and reciprocal method. Today in this video, we are going to do direct method. Under the direct method, the main features are, it is one of the simplest methods. Secondly, here under the direct method, service department costs are solely allocated to production departments. No allocation happens among service departments. Same way, the allocation base is decided as one which is appropriate to each service department function. Say for example, if it is the service department is information technology, the allocation base is taken as CPU or the, uh, suppose it is custodial services, the allocation base is taken as the floor space in square feet and so on. Now let's do an example of direct method because when we do examples, it becomes very easy for us to understand the concept. Service department, let us take it as IT or information technology and custodial services. Here under this we have the costs to be allocated of each department. Then this is the allocation base which is CPU cycles in case of IT and custodial services floor space in square feet. Now as well as production department A and B are concerned, they have their own costs which are in the separate allocation costs. And then you have the CPU cycles and the flow space. Now, if you take production department A and if we see, out of the 48 million CPU cycles, it has used up 30 million CPU cycles. So in this case, we will find out the proportion of the CPU cycles as compared to the total CPU cycles that production department A has used up and then we will allocate this 240,000 to it. Similar is the treatment for production department A, B. Sorry. Now, let us see the calculation. This is the IT department cost which is 240,000. That has to go between A and B departments, production departments. Production department A, it has used up 30 million CPU cycles. So 30 million divided by the total CPU cycles into the cost of the IT department that has to be allocated to production department A that comes to 150,000. Then it is production department A, the custodial services. How much of custodial services is allocated to production department A? Now, it uses up 63 square feet, 63,000 square feet. So 63,000 divided by the total of 90,000 square feet gives you the proportion into the cost to be allocated, which is 60,000. So that is 42,000. And 109, when you add up these two, we get 192,000. That is the service department cost which is being allocated to production department A. I hope you understood this calculation. Now, what your job is, find out the production department B's allocated service cost. Calculation is the same way. Please comment your answers below. And then in case it's wrong or in case you have any doubts, I'll definitely get back to you. Thank you so much for watching CMM Minutes. In my next episode, I'm going to discuss about the step down method or the step method. Keep watching. Bye-bye.